hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber a warm welcome back this video is part of the viewer comment response series where i respond to a comment made by a viewer against one of my videos and i respond via video the comment for this particular video goes can you do a video on work heels and flats sure but i'm only going to focus on work heels in this video and i'll talk about work flats in a later video i'm anesu sagonda and i produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things so whether you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain or you're into luxury but wanting to focus more on the brands that operate under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch or you're younger and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go then my content is very much geared towards you my focus is unashamedly on quality and when i say quality i mean exceptional craftsmanship coupled with phenomenal quality leathers you end up with a well-made product that's well balanced you get supreme comfort and of course longevity but longevity very much depends on how well you look after those shoes. I'm going to attach above a video where I talk in detail about how to look after leather goods such as your handbags, shoes, jackets, for example. I'll also attach above a video where I talk about the best types of shoes that go with particular types of feet. My focus in this video, as I mentioned, is on quality, but also different heel heights, different styles, different materials, uh, mid-tier, top end of the market. I have a good selection of your European brands and one American brand. And most of the European brands I'll talk about are brands that are focused on shoes. As you know, I like brands that focus on one item because when they produce one item, they produce it well to an incredibly high standard. Furthermore, I would always recommend buying shoes at the end of the day. You've been walking around, you've been standing, you, have, you get a much better idea of how comfortable that shoe is going to be. I'd also suggest go for a shoe that um, is snug, it fits snugly around you, as opposed to a bigger size, a shoe that's um, loose and it moves around. You open yourself up to ankle pain and possibly blisters as well. The first brand I'm going to talk about is one I've been talking a lot about over the last few weeks. It's a Swiss brand called Bali. And as I mentioned before, Bali is a brand people are sleeping on. The quality, the construction of their handbags as well as their shoes is exceptional. Their bags, their formal shoes are made in Italy. And there are three particular styles I'd like to recommend from Bali. Buying the shoes um, in store, they start from 36 and go above. But buying online, you open yourself up to a much wider range of sizes. And you also get the option to buy either a narrow or the wide fit. There are three styles I'm going to be recommending from Bali and more so the shorter heel. Shorter heel is five and a half centimeters versus the higher heel, which is eight and a half centimeters. There are two options, two uh, heel height options to the three styles I'll be talking about. I, but I'm particularly going for the shorter heel height because I like those. They look a lot more elegant. Bali as a brand is timeless. Their style is timeless across the board. But I like how elegant but effortless, effortlessly elegant their products are. At 44 years of age, I feel the shoes are fantastic. They're not frumpy for my age. They could be worn by someone younger. Um, when I was in store trying on shoes, there was a lady who was getting ready to go back to work and she was buying shoes and suits and she was mid 50s and she's worn Bali for many years and will continue to do so. I have older aunties, late 60s, early 70s, who swear by Bali, particularly the shorter heel, because the older you get, the less forgiving heels are and you tend to find they cause back pain they're not as comfortable and therefore when you want just a slight bit of elevation bali is fantastic the first style unfortunately they didn't have it in stores gutted it's my favorite bali style it's elsa five and a half centimeters it's priced at 390 pounds the second style uh, again five and a half centimeters and it's the the sling bag the adeline uh, priced at 390 pounds and then the one they had in store full court shoe the Dyker, and that was priced at 490 pounds wore it with the sander bag which i spoke about in the elegant work handbag video which i'm going to attach above 
There are a few other handbags I have mentioned in this video where I've also spoken about um, the brand when it comes to uh, shoe recommendations. Bali shoes are incredibly well made, they wear well and they're worth repairing. The leather is fantastic and it'll stand the test of time. The second brand, another one I recently started talking about, an Italian brand called Todd's Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy recently uh, bought a minority stake. So you'll start to see uh, Todd become a lot more visible. When I think of Todd's and shoes, it's more so their driver shoes, but they also do have a number of your formal and also your casual shoes. The particular style is the leather pumps come in a range of colors. There's, uh, I think, camel, there's red, but the ones I particularly like are the two-tone cream and black. Come with a cone heel, uh, three and a half centimeters, priced at 495 pounds. I like the shoes, slightly different style. The fact that you don't see a lot of skin, it's just a very, very low opening on the front, no t uh, toe cleavage whatsoever but the leather is incredibly sumptuous, it's soft, it's thick. If you're somebody who had a bunion, for example, and you find sometimes bunions um, push through when the leather's thin and you, they really stand out, whereas the leather's very thick and would offer some level of support to the bunion. But I just like the thickness, the comfort, the padding under the balls of your feet. They nicely buffer your feet. Fantastic shoes that I also coupled with the shopping tote. The third brand is a French brand you hardly hear about. It's Roger Vivier. And Roger Vivier is a brand that's focused on their signature buckle. All their shoes, whether it is your high heels, your flats, your sneakers, they have the signature buckle on top, a metal buckle that comes either in silver or a champagne color, more so on the formal side. There are two particular styles I'd like to recommend from Roger Vivier. And Roger Vivier is the a brand that style of brand where the shoes are incredibly elegant they're show-stopping and they pick up what would typically be a plain outfit the focus would very much be on a Roger Vivier shoe the two styles the first is the trumpet has the buckle on the front and it's the shorter thicker heel and that's four and a half centimeters and it's priced at about 520 pounds but you can find the shoes around 485 pounds depending on the color and also the website and then you also have the higher, thinner stiletto heel that curves in and it's seven centimeters and that's also priced at 520 pounds. But it's a fantastic brand that just beautifully elevates an outfit. They also have a number of handbags that are striking and go fantastically well with the bags. I'm going to talk about the next five brands together or rather interchangeably because the style of shoe is pretty much identical. There's just a slight variation in terms of the level of padding under the balls of the feet, the amount of toe cleavage with each shoe, and also the construction of the heel. The heel is typically positioned at the back of the foot's heel. And depending on the mechanism, the level of elevation, and of course, the amount of padding under the balls of the feet, that'll affect the comfort of the shoe. The first two brands I spoke about in my designer shoe video, which I'm going to attach above, they're Itali two Italian brands. Um, there's Aqua Zura and Gian Vito Rossi. The first brand, Aqua Zura, uh, there are two pumps I'd like to recommend. The first is the Purest Pump, priced at 450 pounds. It comes in suede, it's 10 and a half centimeters. Of all the five brands I'm gonna talk about, it has the most amount of toe cleavage, but it also has the least amount of padding under the balls of the feet. The other pump is the Bowtie Pump, priced at 500 pounds. It's a pump that you will typically see the most of when people talk of Aquazura. A number of celebrities have this shoe, but it's a comfortable, well-made shoe. The second brand, Gian Vito Rossi, um, their, their pump, their leather pumps, suede pumps, it's a pump called the Gian Vito, comes in two sizes. Uh, heel heights rather eight and a half centimeters and ten and a half centimeters very similar to aquazura it has slightly less toe cleavage and the amount of padding under the balls of the feet is marginally more than aquazura there isn't a big difference i would say if you're going to go for the eight and a half centimeter go with gian vito rossi but if you're going to go for the 10 and a half centimeters, go with Aquazura because you get more toe cleavage, it's a sexier shoe, 
and the, there isn't any real difference between the padding on the balls of the feet. The Gian Vito, both heel heights are priced at 530 pounds. Gian Vito, you have the option of suede, there's leather, and there's also perspex. The third brand, very similar to Bali in that you hardly hear about it. Phenomenal brand in terms of the quality of the products, but very much under the radar. It's an American brand called Ralph Lauren. And to me, Ralph Lauren is very much your old money brand. They have your more casual, ready to wear, the polo Ralph Lauren, the polo t-shirts everybody knows with the horse. But you also have the more formal side of the brand. Very old money, as I mentioned, in terms of the look and feel. When you're in their boutiques, um, their clothes are not showy or flashy, but it's quality. Even just from the look, before you look at the detail, the construction, they're very well made using fantastic quality materials. Their shoes, the particular style is the Celia. Comes in two heel heights. There's 8.2 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Both are priced at 460 pounds. And they come in a range of different materials from your more exotic leathers to just plain leather. What I like about this shoe is when you compare it to Gian Vito Rossi and Aquazura, it looks more expensive. Automatically looks way more expensive than the other two. The construction also looks superior. And dare I say, it is superior to the other two brands. Very well made, robust shoe. It has no toe cleavage and it has the most amount of padding in comparison to uh, Gian Vito Rossi and um, Aquazura as well. It is a very well padded, comfortable shoe. It's robust, it's sturdy, it's quality. Um, it looks expensive, it looks the part. My fourth brand is one I've also spoken about in my designer shoe video. It's Prada. Prada's fantastic when it comes to their shoes. Very well made, they're robust, uh, good quality. And what I really like about Prada is the fact that they repair their shoes for you for free. It's all done in-house. They send them back to Italy and they come back um, as good as new. The particular style I'd like to recommend is just their leather pumps. They come in either your patent leather, Safiano leather. Um, they also come in just plain leather. But what I like about Prada is they have the customization option. They are a pricier shoe. You're paying for Prada, the prestige, the reputation, the quality, the craftsmanship. The shorter heel, eight and a half centimeters, is priced at 590 pounds. And the higher heel, 10 centimeters, is priced at 620 pounds. But you can customize the entire shoe. Comes up very big. I'm a 35. The 35, I can't even fit into. Even with an insole, it's too big. So it's a non-starter for me. But you can customize everything about the heel. Um, but the price will change depending on what you're doing. The prices I've given you, I gave you earlier, are your plain shoes. But if you are going to um, modify the heel and then throw in different leathers, you have uh, plain leathers, you have your more exotic leathers, your ostrich, your crocodile, for example. You also have the option to customize the sole, to add crystals, embellishments. You can customize the box. You can have different patterns. You can also add initials to the bottom of the shoe. So you can do whatever you would like. And the turnaround period is something like six to eight weeks. Top end brand, uh, my number five in this particular style is an Italian brand called Cassidy. And Cassidy is a brand that doesn't market at all. You either have heard of it, you know it, but it's just a brand that's incredibly under the radar. But my goodness, the quality of their shoes is sensational. I have spoken about Christian Louboutin. I mentioned them in my designer shoe video, which I attached earlier. And I mentioned how I bought the Pegals because the sexiness far outweighed the discomfort of the shoes. But I bought these shoes over 10 years ago and I haven't worn them for many years. They've been sitting in the box accumulating dust and I'd like to actually sell them and put the money towards the Cassidy blade pumps. If you're interested, size 34 and a half, let me know. My contact details are in the about tab. But many people complain about how uncomfortable the Pegals and So Kates are from Christian Louboutin. Cassidy is the heel for you. It's the answer to that. If you want the height, they're actually 12 and a half centimeters. If you want comfort, you want sexiness, three words that typically don't go in the same sentence, 
then Cassidy is the one for you. Their blade pumps are fantastic. Real boss lady shoes. And I've seen a couple of ladies in the city of London, in the financial district. I have seen um, a couple of business directors in the big luxury department stores wearing these, rocking these shoes day in, day out. They are incredibly sexy very comfortable they come with a thick platform uh, under the balls of the feet with additional padding a lot of padding and then the mechanism in the heel means you get that added balance and also comfort added to the shoe come in leather come in suede really snug fit you you feel really well contained in those shoes they are fantastic if you're after a sexy shoe you're after uh, height and comfort cassidy all the way the blade pump is priced at 530 pounds my top recommendation is a brand that confidently owns the top space for quality for construction for comfort it's manola blanik manola blanik um, himself the designer is spanish it's a british company and the shoes are made in italy it's as good as it's going to get for your ready-made shoes. The only other brand that would pip Manola Blahnik to the post would be a brand or brands that are focused on your custom shoes, um, your bespoke shoes. There are four styles I'd like to recommend. Um, the first style, one that most people talk about when they talk about Manola Blahnik, when it comes to your work shoes, you're more formal. It's the BB, two heel heights. You have the highest 10 and a half centimeters, and then you have the lower heel, which is seven centimeters. Both are priced at 515 pounds. They are by far the most superior in the market when it comes to comfort, the level of padding they put in the balls of the feet, coupled with the angle that the heel is positioned. The heel is positioned literally in the middle of the heel of your feet. So the balance, the comfort, coupled with the padding in the base of um, the shoe where the balls of your feet are, make BB's incredibly comfortable shoes. The second style I'd like to recommend is the slingback. Comes in five centimeters, very similar to your Bali heel height. It's the Caroline. And it comes in a number of colors, a number of material options. You have suede. You also have um, plain leather like you do with the BB. And that is priced at 575 pounds. Again, with the padding in the base of the feet. My the third recommendation is a shoe that is fun, it's quirky, you either love it, you hate it. Uh, it's commonly known as the Mary Jane. Um, Manolo Blahnik referred to it as the Camps shoe. Priced at 595 pounds, it is 10 and a half centimeters. Um, comes in patent leather. Um, I've seen it in black, I've seen it in a beige color. Really fun, easy to wear Mary Jane style shoes. Top recommendation from Manolo Blahnik and my favorite. I have literally been drooling over these shoes for the last couple of years. The style is called Gotrianic, priced at £625. It comes in either the black or the beige suede. A very simple, elegant shoe with the suede, the perspex. Um, I tried it on with the white shirt skinny black trousers i wish i'd taken a full picture because the shoes elevated the outfit immediately just made the whole look come together it looked polished it looked funky it looked effortless whatever you buy from anola blanik is always going to be amazing from a construction point of view from a quality from a comfort you can't fault any aspect of the brand. Um, any questions about any of the, the brands I've spoken about, the shoes, let me know as always in the comments down below. Do share this video with other people interested in work shoes, quality, brands under the radar. Like the video if it was of interest and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on future content.